Buckle up. Here we go. Our countdown to hometown sports for the 2023 high school football season debuts tonight. 27 previews from 27 campuses over the next three and a half weeks. And our first stop is Frontier High, where head coach Chris Bandy enters his eighth season. Optimism is running high at Frontier, and with good reason. Most of the moving parts from last year's run to the semifinals is back. Malachi Statler starts with your quarterback. Um, he's back, had a phenomenal year last year. Uh, Bryson Tablets, a returning all-area guy. Um, Eric De La Garza played O-line, D-line for us, did a great job. Um, you know, I mean, we got shoot, a ton of guys. Kai Rodriguez, Kobe Watson, Malcolm James. I mean, there's so many guys I can name that are coming back that are uh, going to fill in really well and do great. A year ago, the staff didn't know what they had in Malachi Statler, at quarterback. Now they do. And he, he just soaked it up and, and took charge and did a great job last year. And this year, I mean, he's been even, even more phenomenal. Um, just his offseason work ethic, his leadership, organizing guys to do stuff on their own with him and everybody else um, without, you know, being have, having to be told to do anything. Being a leader is like everybody on this team is going to look up to me, so I always got to be on my A game. I always got to be positive, bring everybody up. So that's my job every time I come to practice. Two-way starter Bryson Tablet brings his own version of energy in a smaller package. He's a freak, man. He's like our little super ninja. Uh, he can do anything. Um, super, obviously fast. From you know, Everybody knows that from track now, but uh, he's super physical. Um, and for a guy his size, the, to, to do what we ask him to do is pretty remarkable considering, um, you know, he's not that big of a guy, but he plays, he plays like a big guy. My mindset is to just keep going forward. I don't want anyone to tackle me. I have something to prove, and I just want to keep it that way. Expect an upgrade from the Titan defense, which by numbers alone is ready to flex. I think we're going to be a lot better on that side of the ball, which is what we needed to be. We needed to improve. Um, we had a little trouble stopping the run. We were a little undersized and had a couple injuries at the linebacker position early on. Um, and those guys are healthy. And I, and I think everybody's, almost everybody but, but one guy's returning on defense. So that's exciting for us. They're all better. They're all in better shape. Um, a lot bigger, a lot stronger. Bigger and stronger. That would describe a revamped offensive line, which could lead the Titans to new heights. Some of them are young. The youngins down there, they're, they're beasts, man. They eat. They know what to do. They're dirty. They're nasty. That's what we need right there on our line. One thing on offense we didn't do when we had to was run the football. Um, and that's what we've committed to. We need to be able to run the football when we need to. And when teams know we're going to run, we still got to execute and be able to run the ball because um, that's how you win, win championships.